Hello and welcome back everybody to the Bio Reef. Well, it's been a really long journey, but uh, I think I'm back. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, yeah, so, you know, the tank has been up for a year now and it's been uh, nothing but problems, right? Uh, uh, I did go away for a good six month of the year and, and perhaps it's a bit too, uh, too naive to expect that things were going to go smoothly, but I had this really nasty Dino outbreak, which turned into a cyano outbreak which turned into a green turf algae outbreak. Uh, but thankfully, I think the tank is now under control. I've uh, made some changes. I've uh, added a nice collection of SPS and corals back to the system, and I'm kind of looking forward to uh, hopefully the tank being stable and things uh, going well from here on out. So let me just quickly brief you on, on what I've done to kind of get rid of the turf algae. So last video, I shot was uh, me trying to get rid of turf algae with uh, hydrogen peroxide, which worked a little bit, but in, it uh, involved a lot of uh, manual labor. So uh, I did get a lot of comments from you to try fluconazole, which is an antifungal drug that is supposed to help with algae. And you know, part of the fun of having this channel is actually you know just sharing my journey, but also getting uh, information from you about what worked for your for your tank. And I was very curious about fluconazole, so I did actually give it a, ch uh, a chance. So here's what the tank looked like after the hydrogen peroxide treatment. And you could still see that there was a lot of green hair algae on the right boulder here. Uh, and, you know, I just didn't want to repeat all the work. So I went ahead and I ordered the fluconazole. It comes as a powder. You have to kind of dissolve it. It doesn't really dissolve that well. You just add it to the tank water. I did remove carbon and I did turn off my skimmer. Uh, actually, I had it running by just kind of spilling uh, uh, back into the sump. And after the first day, nothing kind of happened. About seven days out, I started seeing, you know, that the green hair algae was turning a little bit whitish, uh, but it was still there. So I was at that point not so sure whether the treatment was going to work. Uh, but then change, uh, things changed really quickly, like about the 10 day mark. Uh, that's when I started seeing uh, way fewer batches of green hair algae, but there's still a little bit left on the rock. And after about uh, two weeks uh, from the start of the treatment, I did still notice that there was still a bit of green hair algae in the tank. And I was really tempted to kind of repeat the treatment because typically that's that's what happens is, you know, they tell you uh, to uh, assess things after about 14 days and you could repeat do another treatment of fluconazole at that point. But I was a little bit hesitant. So I actually did nothing. I just like I kept the water, did no water changes. And after I would say about uh, maybe 20 days, 21 days, pretty much all of the rock, uh, all of the algae was gone from the rock and the tank looked really pristine. And I was really happy at that point. And uh, that's when I started actually considering adding more uh, corals and, and restarting my SPS collection. I did have several uh, SPS uh, frags that were in the tank when I started the fluconazole treatment. And I was monitoring their color to kind of get a sense of whether the fluconazole is gonna influence the, the health of the SPS. And they looked really happy. Uh, I did not observe any negative effects of the fluconazole treatment on my tank. And again, that was about, you know, uh, almost almost a month of essentially after starting the fluconazole, doing no water changes, no carbon, and, and only starting the skimmer after about uh, a couple of weeks uh, after the treatment. So overall, I felt that the fluconazole did a really good job with getting rid of the turf algae. And that made me kind of feel happy and, and confident. And I went ahead and started uh, getting a new SPS collection for my tank. All right, let's have a look at some of the new corals that I got for the tank. Uh, I did want to get a few uh, softies and LPS to kind of help fill up the sand bed a little bit. Uh, so I got a brain coral. I got a scolemia. I never had a scolemia before. And I also got this uh, fungi, fungi, fungi plate. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're not gonna uh, kill each other based on how close I've, I've kept them. But uh, yeah, I, I really like kind of the color that they give to the sand a little bit. Uh, this is one of uh, the few survivors. Uh, I actually biobanked this as uh, at my uh, neighbor Wally's uh, tank, uh, Green Slimer. Uh, I got a TSA Princess Peach, which I thought looked really great. So uh, part of my uh, thought process for the SPS was to get some new SPS that I've been curious about, 
but also to get some of my old favorite and obviously try to kind of mix up colors. So uh, I had to buy another Tyree Pink Lemonade uh, because, uh, you know, it's it's such a, a beautiful coral, especially when it gets that nice metallic kind of uh, lemonade and, and the pink polyps. I did get an Oregon Tort. So I visited Ape from Coral Reforia uh, last year and I saw an Oregon Tort in uh, his tank and it's the first time that I've seen one. And it was so beautiful. You know, I thought they always looked the same. They, I thought they kind of looked the same as a Cali Tort. But the organ tort is way bluer and and it's blue in kind of a different kind of way so i definitely had to have one uh this is your you know typical montepora digitata which does give you a very nice kind of reddish color which you don't necessarily get a lot with like acroporas but uh uh so i i you know despite it being super cheap and common i still have to have one. i still had to have one Here's a rainbow loom. So this frag was uh, in the tank during the entire fluconazole treatment and you could see how well it looked like. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like the fluconazole had any effect on this. Uh, I got a frag of the Refraft Lady in pink, which is a, a cool kind of uh, pinkish tenuous with, with blue tips. Uh, looking forward to kind of seeing it grow. Uh, this frag, I... This was from my buddy Wally's tank. He called it Princess Beach, but it looks different. So if you know what it is, do, do let me know in the comments because uh, we both kind of are blanking out on the name of uh, of this coral. Uh, it's it's kind of peachy. Uh, it doesn't look like a fuzzy maple. I don't know. Uh, I did go ahead. I did went ahead and bought another uh, uh, Jason Fox Jolt because we lost our uh, initial uh, frag. Uh, uh, hopefully this one will grow a little bit faster than the first one that I got uh, but uh, when it's all colored up it should be blue with red polyp so we'll we'll see uh, some of the frags here are a little bit faded because you know, they're essentially just introduced to the tank maybe a, a week ago uh, I had to get another frag of Refraft Mar Marvin the Martian because it is just stunning those green polyps and and the blue tips uh, and just the movement of the polyps uh, when the flow is on it just looks fantastic uh you know it, it's green and blue and it's not anything fancy but i just love how it looks uh this is uh walt disney uh again it the colors are not fully there yet uh this was shipped all across the country and and just added to the tank about a week ago so hopefully we'll we'll see it oh and you actually can see some pods here walking around on the on the frag uh, I got a CZ uh, Orange Sherbert, which looks really like amazing in person. It, you know, again, it's hard to capture these colors on, on a DSLR camera with no filters, uh, but uh, it does look killer with, uh, you know, really orange tips and, and, and pink purplish. Uh, I got, I had to get another frag of uh, Hawkins Shinoda as, as the one that I biobanked uh, in my neighbor's tank, didn't make it. Uh, very very beautiful and unique blue colors or i i think this is a must have okay this is another one that is ape from coral euphoria's influence uh, tgc cherry bomb uh you you gotta go look at i mean you, you already probably have uh look at all of uh, uh apes videos but uh there's one video where it has a huge colony of this and the polyps are just moving in the flow it just looks amazing uh i got another frag of refract magma uh, this thing, when it colors up, it has some really, really intense, like orange and 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 red, and kind of looks like hot lava. <laughs> so uh, excited to see where it goes. Uh, I got Refraft uh, Pink Matrix, which is an oldie, but uh, again, very beautiful colony when when it forms. Uh, so uh, yeah, looking forward to kind of seeing it. You can see it's already encrusted. This is a, just a couple of weeks old, uh, so uh, good signs. Uh, Refract Pink Cadillac. Again, this is a frag that went through the entire fluconazole treatment, and and you could see that you know a month, uh, a month and a half later, it's it's looking killer, and and it hasn't, it didn't actually lose any of its color during the treatment, so uh, uh, pretty cool. Uh, Sunset Millie, uh, again, it went. Uh, th these are the colors of the uh, of the colony, uh, the frag as after it experienced the fluconazole treatment, so. As far as I could tell, fluconazole had like no ill effects on on the colors of uh, my SPS. Uh, moving uh, uh, forward to the next frag is uh, Refraft Holy Grail, very unique kind of purplish with pinkish base, uh, orange uh, orange polyps, 
uh, really interesting colors. I, I, I'm very looking forward to kind of seeing this grow into, into a mini colony. Uh, I had to get another tiny, tiny frag of Refraft Orange Passion. Uh, I feel like the Orange Passion is probably the best tenuous out there, and I, I have yet to see another tenuous, like in a some, and not like a Photoshop tenuous, but like a, a real tenuous in somebody else's tank that that is uh, as good looking as the Orange Passion. So anyway <laughs> you know, you could feel free to convince me otherwise but uh another colony that i don't know what it is this is thanks aussie pink uh thank is a local uh, uh reefer at uh in uh in the toronto area he has a store now uh but uh you know i, I used to know him when <laughs> you visit his garage fun times thing uh another coral from wally that i i don't know what it is if if you uh if you know what it is, please shoot me a comment because we're both kind of scratching our heads. It's not a bonsai valida; it's something else, like uh, grape soda. I, I I don't know, but if you know it, do let me know. Uh, of course, and I had to get another frag of uh, fox flame, very kind of unique uh, pink with neon uh, tips. Uh, really interesting coral and and a unique kind of color uh, pattern. Uh, I got another Acropora cyramentosa. Uh, when it colors up, it, it's got this very interesting mintish green uh, with with reddish or or pinkish polyp. So uh, uh, not an expensive coral, but very beautiful when it grows into a colony. Uh, then we have Refract Wolverine. You know, you know, very interesting color. This yellowish green. Uh, I've I've had it before, but sadly I lost it uh, during my tank travel. So, but for me, this is another kind of must have. Uh, then we have Refraft Wowzers, which I've, I've never seen before. So when I saw it in uh, in uh, Niagara Fire Coral, Coral's tank, I was like, okay, I got I got to get this. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like <laughs> a, a trick that green slimer, you know, green with those purple polyps and neon tips. I, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so that that's it, guys. Uh, uh, new SPS collection. Uh, hopefully it's uh, smooth sailing from here. But, you know, I, I have... I have no illusions about issues in a reef tank that could pop up. So I, I know it's not going to be smooth sailing from here. I know there's going to be more troubles uh, well, and not more troubles, but you know, things will happen. Pro problems will come up. They, they always do, uh, but hopefully they're going to be manageable and, and they're not going to be catastrophic like the, the issues that I had uh, in the last, uh, in last year. And yeah, so it's, it's been literally about a year, a little bit more than a year since I started the water box and, I would say that during that year, I've, I've, it's mostly just been problems and, and frustrations, but finally I feel like I'm getting to a place where I'm actually enjoying the tank. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it every morning. I'm, you know, excited about feeding the fish and, and, and checking nitrates and phosphates and, and, you know, cleaning the sump and, and the glass. So, uh, it's, it's kind of funny how, uh, sometimes it takes a while for you to get a tank that you're kind of happy with. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and enjoy your reef.